sorry my grease gun's dirty for this but I actually use mine so um, loosen the top and then pull the pin all the way out uh, that rod until you can lock it uh, this one just happens to have a little slot and you turn it and uh, that'll keep it open while you, while you change the can so take the top all the way off and then grab a paper towel or something and uh, pull the old can out uh, you're gonna get a little dirty doing this so just prepare for that so get the old can out of there uh, new grease this is just basic generic grease so um, there's a pull tab end and the uh, plastic cap end comes off that's the bottom uh, helps if you store those upright but the open end goes down into the can so just shove that down in there until it can't go anymore and then uh, pull the that little pudding cup tab lid off of there uh, like that and uh, maybe scrape off the extra grease yum yum uh, and then screw the top back on don't screw it on all the way screw it on about halfway um, and then that's the way I'm going to let the air out. Uh, just loosen your rod till it uh, connects with the inside, and give it a little push, and that'll push the grease all the way to the to the uh, top of the can. And then you can uh, tighten the top all the way. That should take care of any airlock in there. Um, and then you can uh, store that rod just by turning it and pushing it all the way in. Um, and then this one has a a pressure relief on the top for air bubbles you can loosen that or push that little ball that should let uh, some of the, the pressure out of that um, I don't I've never used that actually I, I just do it the way I showed you uh, with leaving the, the top loose a little bit and that usually takes care of all the air if not you might have to you know do it again so yeah it's not a big deal uh, just prepare to get a little bit dirty so hope that helps